All right, here is the uh, the engine out of my 2001 9.5 Aero Wagon. So that's here. <clears throat> I was doing a head gasket job on it. Um, and going to put everything back together when I noticed um, that this guide was loose. And so I didn't want to do the... Uh, you can do it in the car, but I didn't feel like doing the... Um, the whole timing chain um, in the car and so I just yanked the engine and uh, and I found you know obviously this guy is broken this this timing guide is supposed to sit on that stud there um, and you know it appears that this the balance chain um, doesn't have a ton more to go so I'm gonna go ahead and just replace the balance chain um, and all new guides all over and I found this one was broken as well so there's a piece sitting in the valve cover so that's what I'm going to do a little video on on how that's done right now uh, I've actually got this crankshaft locked in top dead center um, get a lock on the flywheel we're going to go ahead and start taking these pieces apart um try to keep track of it. But so this one, not bad shape. That probably could have been reused. The grooves can just barely catch with my finger, but I've got a new one, so no problem. We'll take out the uh tensioner. But I'll take the rest of it off. Okay. This this time this guide right here is not held in with a nut a bolt. Um, it is just pushed in there. All right, and then we can go ahead and pull this one, which is basically in complete pieces. So this piece just came apart. I can remove the um, the idler. So these two are the balance shafts, and this one's just like an idler. Now it's a pretty simple thing just to remove the old balance chain. So you can see pretty clearly this uh, this mark vertically on the top of each balance shaft ring here. Um, and then directly down from the top right here, there is a notch. And that notch is really simple to see and that lines up with that notch in both cases there was the obviously the problem that I had was that piece is gone it broke right here it is pulling this this timing this guide off now this chain was rolled in not too long ago so I'm not gonna mess with it uh, I'm not going to replace it. Um, there's plenty of um, plenty of spacing left on the um, on the the chain tensioner, the timing chain tensioner. That way. And so the way this goes on is it just goes just like that. I believe these have a specific torque rating. I should probably look it up. Oh, you gotta pull that sprocket off in order to do that correctly. Okay. 
that's how that should go. Proper. We're just going to run with it. I have it locked in a top plate so I can tell pretty easily which one it is. Right. Yep. Yeah, that will probably make the difference. So that little piece there. That's right. That's exactly right. right on the money there so both both timing marks I was looking you know down through here to access one right on the money and then with this guide I was pulling it straight out but with that guide this one is right on the money as well and so you can check a tooth to either side but you know if, if it's if it's that close you're good to go um, and then this guide you know goes like this um, and then we have the time the um, the uh, tensioner, again, that goes with it. And it can only fit one way. It notches in there and it, it holds it pretty securely. Um, but you can't push it in like this. If it, it's 180 degrees and it pushes in freely, that's bad. So rotate it 180 degrees. It should stop. 90 degrees, push in. And you'll hear a ratchet, but so I, I got to find a little uh, paper clip to go in that hole or a push pin. Um, either one will work, and then I can put that put that together. All right, so again, I'm gonna wanna push down, and then I've got a needle to lock it into place, and you can feel where it is when it goes in there. All right. Go ahead and slide this guy on, and then put these. Let me check. that guy operates as it should and there should be a little bit of flex but just a little tip um, what you can do is if you ever drop the sump which is down here you can actually put your finger up and feel the the chain and so there should be some slack on this side you should be able to depress it um, but I guess I guess a visual inspection of how far out 
this, um, you know, this tensioner is, is probably the best, the best bet. So, um, but that's, that's the, uh, that's the balance chain. It's on, and um, I'm going to put the cylinder head on. I have, I'm not going to rotate the crankshaft yet, but when I put the cylinder, because it's locked in at top dead center um, from the flywheel, and so when I put the cylinder head on, before I put the engine back on, I'm going to rotate everything, um, and then I can check timing on everything and make sure, you know, even while rotated, it's, uh, it's still in, in great shape. All right? That's the video on the balancer shaft chain.